collection of pots that we're getting is just an introduction or just like the first chapter, I think, reviving our culture, bringing it back and restoring it for us and keeping it alive in our hands and in our traditions. So bringing that back will actually help us to like um, preserve what we have left. It really can help remind people of the, the skill and talent and artistry of their ancestors hopefully um, inspire people to continue that work that their ancestors did long ago, to not let these cultural practices like pottery making, you know, just fall by the wayside or become very dormant, but that they'll always have an active presence in the communities, you know, today and in the future. To actually see the pieces and have them here is really important, I think, for all of us. And I'm really glad that they are doing this and inviting the communities to come and take a look. It's about bringing these pots back that have been um, gone for a long time. You know, we need them back to, to study them and, um, you know, touch them, you know, and uh, look at, you know, their, of course, their designs and stuff and then incorporate that back into what we're doing today. The opportunities that we have regarding these pots is enormous because a lot of our younger youth have yet to experience how to make these pots. It's important that we teach them to put their hands on, do the old methods, the coil methods, and letting them know that it's not just a piece of clay. It's not material. It's what you put into it from your heart and your mind. It's that song, it's the prayer, it's the conversations that took place when they were being made. Those were made by our ancestors. You know, it, I, I felt so good when I was told that they were coming back and I felt like, oh, our ancestors' work is coming back and I wanted to go and touch it just because their hands may build those, those pots. That's how I felt. Their journey in this world is coming back to where they come. You know, we as, as Pueblo people believe in the circular, not the linear. So we're in a, it's coming back to where it, where it left from. It's not, uh, it's not going in one direction. It's, it's actually coming back to where it, where it first was walked away from or taken from and it is now returning back to to the I will say to the Tewa world. Sure that they're very happy and excited and those that have already come are telling them, you know, Vitsika on Vitsika and just be patient. They're coming for you, so you just wait, don't get worried, just um, wait and be patient. So yes, I think they're very eager, eager to return, and so are we to have them back. They are living. They do have a spirit, and they're breathing as well. They're our ancestors. You know, we don't know who might have been the potter, but it is our ancestor. It's bringing the ancestors home. It's very spiritual for me because they're my great-grandparents, my great-aunties, my great-uncles that are being brought back. It's very important because it's, it's our culture, it's our spirit, it's our wholeness, and it's our heart.